Okay, so a train XL80, I think, gas furnace, two stage. This thing seems to have an issue where when you close this, basically it tries to start for heat, you see the igniter come on or it's a little heating element and the gas never turns on. Well, it was, but it wasn't turning on reliably and it would kind of cut it in and out. I suspect the gas valve is the problem. So to test this, I have the multimeter connected up. It's AC volts because uh, this runs on 24 volts AC. And I'm gonna close the bottom here, which will energize the furnace. I gotta latch it here. And what's gonna happen is, there we go. So the flu fan thing is turned on. And in a second, we should see the igniter come on. There it is. And we should get 24 volts or 25, 26, whatever volts in a moment, which will tell us that gas valve is being instructed to be turned on. There it is, there it is, 27 volts. And normally the gas valve should start now, but it's not. So what will happen, and it already sh shut back off again. So what happens is the furnace goes into a protection mode. I think it tries to start the gas like three or four times and then it will lock out and there's a flashing led on the control board which is down there so we've confirmed that there is 24 volts here and on this particular furnace the blue wire is common you can just make it out on the valve it's the c is common that's 24 volts and i think these get grounded red is the low stage so pm and the second stage is this gray wire which is high which it doesn't ever get called because it needs to start the low first. So that basically confirms that if this is not turning on, there's a problem with the gas valve. Now, I think the issue is personally is this is all wobbly inside there. And I think there's just a bad connection because when this was plugged in, sometimes you could poke it and you would actually get the gas to start. And this thing would, the solenoids would turn on the gas flow and that's not happening. So what I want to try to do is I'm going to try to open up these, this uh, little black box here. I'm not going to take apart the gas valve itself because you can, but it looks like there are two screws, one in that back corner and one there to try to take that out. And I only figured that out from looking at pictures online. So I'm going to grab my safety bits, see either of these Torx bits with the little thing in there. And we're going to try to remove that cover so we can take a look inside of there and see, see what's going on exactly. Incidentally, there's an on off switch here as well. And I already did try contact cleaner and things like that in here. So I know that's not the problem. All right. Well, that was easy. Two screws. And this comes out and look at that. There's a little circuit board. And what do you know? Broken freaking solder joints. These three pins right there, that's it. What garbage. Let's reflow those. So I brought my soldering iron over here, hooked up to the battery pack. And I'm just going to, I'm just gonna reflow those three joints here. It looks like the two outside ones, I guess are bad. And uh, I also notice the way the little module connects to this, this, these two solenoids, there's two pins there and two there. I think this has three solenoids. There's this one as well, which is connected. Let me unzoom here through these wires here. But um, yeah, that that is it. This is just such a freaking typical problem. This entire furnace is from about nine, 2001, I think. So we're talking 23, 24 years old. This gas valve assembly here, of course, is not sold anymore. People are selling them on eBay, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same exact problem as this. And there are modern replacements, but there's nothing else wrong with this furnace except for this. And this is what's causing the issue, just like we see on so many monitors and things like that that I fixed. So just reflowed those joints. Nice, fresh, leaded solder. I'm sure this was made with lead-free. And I'm going to just reassemble this. And that should be it. All right, this is back in. You just have to make sure when you put it in, you get the connections to the solenoids proper. Obviously, if you're having trouble with the solenoids, maybe a little contact cleaner might help. And um, then you just plug this back in like so. Make sure that's set to on. And now we'll just close this, which brings the power back on to the whole unit. And let's see if this fixed it together. And there we go, that's starting up. What's so sad about this is if this fixes it, this is not something that anyone would ever do. Anyone who's in the HVAC industry, they would just replace this whole valve 
which is like two hundred dollars. There's the heater, and uh, but yet broken solder joints on circuit boards, as we know, is so common, then easy to fix. So easy to fix. There it is. Gas is running, and let's see if we move this wires here. Yep. Before, if it was running, you just touch this and it would shut off. Because of course, cracks solder joints. Problem solved, free, didn't cost anything. Literally took five minutes. All right, that's it. Hope you learned something. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.